when discussing uh, repels and backups, backup systems for repelling, there's two uh, spots that technically people would put a backup. One is above the repel device. So same sort of situation here, some sort of friction hitch. I'll use the auto block. And typically they'll att attach it to the belay loop here. I'm gonna have to use a little cord, a little sling here to extend it out so it stays above my device. And I use lock and carabiner since it's a backup. I want to be make sure I'm attached to it. Okay, so this is with the backup above my device. Now when I'm repelling in this situation, I need to keep a hand up here and I manage this as I repel down the rope. And if something were to happen, then the device would lock up. Uh, the problem here with this sort of backup, although it does stop me, it's not truly what we would consider a hands-free backup since my weight is now solely hanging on this friction hitch on the rope. Okay, so without my hand here, if this were to slide or fail, I will just keep going down the rope. Second situation we showed earlier was the auto block tied underneath the device. So this is on the brake strand side. And now I just manage it with my brake hand by here. If I were to slip and fall or whatever, it's going to lock up and hold me. Now this backup is technically what we consider a hands-free device because my weight is still hanging on the belay device. The weight the friction hitch is holding is only the amount necessary to keep these ropes bent so that the friction of the device holds my weight. So in this situation it is considered a hands-free device. The amount of weight this is holding is significantly less than up here where it's required to hold my full body weight.